Marathon bombing trial, pipe bombs hurled at police, a plastic container filled with explosive powder and fuses, and lots of receipts. Jurors got a closer look at some clues that we didn't even know existed before today. Beth Germano is live tonight in Watertown. Beth? Well, this is the Watertown neighborhood where the violent confrontation with police went down. And today in court, we learned of the destructive power law enforcement officials say the Sarnayev brothers had armed themselves with. Testimony about evidence collected here and what it reveals. While the battle between the Sarnayev brothers and Watertown police was still going on, Massachusetts State Police Trooper Robert McCarthy arrived at the scene. At that time, there was multiple radio calls of shots fired, he told the court. They're throwing bombs at us. Loud explosion, loud explosion, loud explosion. Two of those bombs didn't explode, and McCarthy described using a special robot to retrieve the devices, fearing the whole time they would explode on Laurel Street. The inside of the bombs filled with gunpowder and lined with BBs like those used at the marathon finish line. When asked about the unusual elbow shape of one of the bombs, McCarthy explained, We don't call these pipe bombs. It's more of an improvised grenade. When it's tossed, it will stop. It will not roll away. And this is a bomb we didn't know existed until this trial. Made out of a plastic container loaded with green fuses and covered in black powder residue. It was found inside the carjacked Mercedes SUV, but was never lit. Today, the defense showed the jury how many bullet holes were fired into that vehicle, including six to the driver's side windshield. But prosecutors also had forensics experts testifying Johar Sarnayev's fingerprints were found all over the Mercedes SUV and the brother's own Honda Civic, where they say two white golf gloves were discovered, testing positive for the blood of murdered MIT police officer Sean Collier. Also found was Tamerlan Sarnayev's wallet, with receipts for two backpacks purchased in the days before the bombings, from a New Hampshire gun and ammunition store, and a moneygram to Russia for $900. From the defense, a first look at the tattered Adidas sweatshirt Johar Sarnayev was wearing in the final confrontation with police as he hid in a boat in a Watertown backyard. And tomorrow, jurors will see some 45 photos introduced at the end of the day today of bomb debris as the prosecution tries to drive home the danger this neighborhood was in. Reporting live from Watertown, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. David? Beth, thank you.